Hey everybody, in today's video I will be reviewing what was covered in Armor of Forger's third dev blog. This dev blog covered their plans for the future, the new Hex Debate mod, and the minor June update. So without any more delay, let's just get right into this. To start off, I've already made a video covering on what was added and fixed in the June update. If you'd like to see my entire coverage, I'll have it linked below but I'd like to focus in this video on the changes they mentioned in the dev blog. To start off, vehicles should now drive more smoothly. As the addition of a fix that makes the vehicle's forward movement be more constant and less randomly jerking should really just make it so when you drive, you don't really feel as though the car is about to explode. I personally didn't have a lot of problems with driving before, but I have to say it does feel smoother now. Also, vehicles will no longer fly away if the driver of them disconnects. I never got to experience this bug, but it's nice to know that it's gone. Finally, passengers can now use the quick slots while in the passenger seat, allowing it to be easier to access the map and help the driver. In other changes, H2 tents will now have bandage boxes allowing you to heal up should you be wounded and weapons will no longer act as a shield that will prevent bullets from doing any damage. But moving from the update, they talked about network instability. They are quite aware of players still being kicked from servers due to instability, and they are still working on it. The update did include more fixes in this aspect, which should reduce this problem. However, if you're not feeling the difference yet, as I am not, I had a lot of crashes over the last couple days, they are working on more optimization that will clean up this entire process a lot more, and I'm looking forward to seeing that in the next update. From there, they stated that issues in the workbench involving the terrain are likely going to be fixed in the next update, and along with that update, there will be optimization in regards to radios, and sp as speech from enemies will no longer clutter your screen, and the speaker will no longer be able to hear themselves over the secondary radio when they are speaking. There will also be an addition of an option to disable VON notifications. All in all, just a lot of cleaning up of the radio UI. The next update will also add a better, more transparent, and adaptive UI brightness, an improvement to the task system to help support further modding, and an improvement to building with AI, no longer going to be blocking any constructions that you do. So if you're just trying to be a support player and the annoying AI are in your way, next update will likely fix that problem for you. On the logistical side, they talked about how on Monday the official servers went down for seven hours. They were restored and the cause for the downage was found and they are working to make sure it does not happen again. They stated they are working on fixing the randomized objective name bug that they were made apparent of uh, with the release of the June update. Um, and they closed out the whole blog with a link to Hextivate and their blog about Hextivate I already covered Hextivate in a video earlier this week. It is an interesting little mod that's showing us just how far we can take this engine modding-wise. But that's all for this dev blog. I'm excited for the next update that they talked about in this post, but until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.